What's up guys? I hope you're having a sparkling day. Jordan and I received a lot of requests about Yugi and how we train him to go on this road trip with her. And I think it is time for me to show you how we take Yugi on hiking with us. <music> that we do before we go on a hike is giving Yugi the water, preparing his harness and his dish and right now he's eating some um, food. Every time that we want to go out we let him have his little moment to um, have some energy and to get some food and some water. So while Yugi is eating, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we always bring. So we have a very long leash. This is a five meter leash. We also have the harness, of course. This is what Yugi wear uh, every single time that uh, we go out. And we also have a small one with an elastic in it. Um, this is more for the small walk that we do when we are in the camp spot. And this is more for the hikes because uh, it gives Yugi more freedom and he's very happy with it and we also have a backpack so you have two entrance if I can say the first one is uh, in the front and the other one is on top of it here and you have two windows so one here and the other one on the other side so you have a lot of hair going through it's a it's a good thing uh, during summer but when it's getting very cold we usually put something on top so the um, hair is not uh, going through that easily and we also every single time we have some snacks so those are yugi favorite snack in the world this and we also have uh, sticks we have, um, this is another one here. So we always bring um, snack with us because uh, it's in case Yugi needs some stuff to eat and because he's uh, doing very well. So we want to um, reward him. And we also always bring with us uh, water and food um, because we do a lot of stops during the hike so Yugi can have some drink and have something to eat. It's very, very important, especially when it's uh, hot and when you have a lot of uh, sun because Yugi needs to drink um, a lot of water very frequently to not be dehydrated. So we have that in mind. Now Yugi is done and um, he always travel even if he, he is in the bag he always traveled with uh, the harness home because uh, we like to have the possibility to leave him inside or outside the bag so it goes like this and then I just and here we go. So now Yugi is fully ready to come hiking with us. We always start a hike with him in a bag for some security reasons because we never know if uh, the hike will be very crowded, if you have uh, dogs, another cat, we never know. So first he's in a bag and once we know we will be alone, we can let him free and put the leash on. And as usual, our little hiking cat who wants to walk doesn't want to be in the bag, so here we go. He's very nice and he's walking on the path just like just like a small dog, it's very fun to watch. Usually the way we do it, so I'm with Yugi and Jordan is up front, so Yugi knows the path 
because otherwise he stops because he doesn't know where to go. The only thing that we have to really keep in mind when we are walking with Yugi is to um, know the environment. What I mean by that is that Yugi gets very anxious and scared when there are other people. So usually we have to uh, put him back in the bag when someone is approaching. So we have to be very careful about that. Uh, this time we had a few um, fishing men walking around which is completely fine but as I said Yugi gets very anxious so that's why we put him back in the bag because we want him to feel safe we try to um, uh, make him uh, comfortable so we put him, him back in the bag and then when the, the area is safe again we can uh, let him walk again we have a, a carabiner at the end of the leash just like this one right here and so every time that Yugi has to go out Jordan just clips it right here so we are safe for the leash and then he goes on the bag and put this one on Yugi no matter what happens it's very safe to walk and after that when Yugi is comfortable, we just unlock the carabiner and I take Yugi with me because Jordan has to be on front. And um, very frequently we think about water because Yugi drinks a lot, but like every animal he has to uh, be very hydrated. So we have always when we are hiking, we have, um, this is his bowl and we also have his own um, water carrier and so up he goes to the water And every time that the hike is over, we put Yugi back in the car right here and we organize everything for him. So the food and to drink and then we let him free. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to follow my adventure, you can subscribe to this channel. You can also check my Instagram account and my Facebook page. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon.